Hello again and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another 2.5 episode. I know I said I was gonna try to stagger these out, but I wanted to keep the project going. I've kind of felt like I've been in a little lull lately and I'm gonna do something small just to kind of lift my spirits up a little bit as far as these videos go. Um, I haven't not wanted to make videos, just like kind of not, all the excitement from getting the engine and starting work on it has really kind of like drained me creatively i guess i don't i don't know if that's the right way to explain it but i want to put out a video for this weekend so this is the one you'll be watching now while you're watching this i'm probably working on making a kind of driving cinematic episode is what i what i thought about doing so keep on the lookout for that but that's what i am doing probably right now into this week but this is about installing engine parts an important thing on these 2.5 engines is the massive uh, massive speed balance shaft delete kit or whichever delete kit you want to use. Um, this is the one that I got. So the balance shaft is in the oil pan area and we need to remove it and put this guy in. I also have the oil pickup tube and the gasket for that, but I don't think we're going to be installing that today. Reason being is that you need to use the 2.0 oil pan. I've been like there's, there's one oil pan on eBay right now and I tried to negotiate with the seller but they weren't really having it. So if you guys know of an oil pan, someone who's willing to ship maybe or local, let me know. Um, I mean, there's only one on there and I know the prices of that one and the prices of buying brand new from the dealership and they're pretty steep. So we won't be able to install the oil pickup tube today but we can install the balance shaft elite and get some of the gasketing off um, just so we're ready whenever um, the time comes for the engine to go in. So we need to flip the engine over, take the bolts off the oil pan, and um, go from there. All right, this shouldn't be too hard. Losing coolant. Well, okay. Kind of forgot about that. Oh. All right. Well, I should have seen that coming. I'll admit. I'll admit. All right, I went ahead and removed this. I think this is called the coolant um, inlet or something like that. Um, it's not where the thermostat goes, but it's on the back of the engine. Um, this was gonna hold us up from turning our engine all the way around anyways, but I did get coolant everywhere, so we won't be using this anymore um, because I need to get the one from the 2.0 or I'm gonna order a new one um, because this one doesn't have a temperature sensor in it and we needed a temperature sensor. I removed that from the back and now let's flip the engine over. It's still gonna just drain coolant out, but oh well. All right, so here is the bottom of the engine or bottom of the oil pan right here. Um, there's all sorts of bolts all around it. Um, so I'm going to just work to get these off. Hopefully we don't spill a ton of oil or anything. Uh, this is the first time I've done this, as you guys know. So this is a learning process for me and we are going to just try to zip everything off here and uh, continue on with this project. There we go. Basically what I want to do now is, um, we need to, this is the balance shaft right here. We need to remove this. I'm going to go ahead and remove the pickup tube first because it's kind of in the way. So I'll at least take this off. 
Um, here's where the dipstick is if you ever wondered where that went. And yeah, so this is all just like RTV, so we're gonna scrape all this off so we can have a clean surface for when we put the new oil pan on. Um, should be a huge deal to leave it without. It might leak a tiny bit of oil out of it, but it won't be the end of the world. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up, get the RTV off, and then we'll go on to remove the next part here. So that's done. Next, we're gonna take out the balance shaft. Well, this actually weighs a lot. Wasn't expecting that. Probably weighs a good 15 pounds. All right, so I couldn't find other videos on YouTube showing this exact process. So I'm gonna do my best to show you guys what I do. So right here, down in this little area, is where the oil feed is for the balance shaft. So with the kit, you're gonna have a bolt and the little plate, little purple plate, it's out of focus, but, um, and the bolt will thread into one of these and then the little plug with the o-ring will go into one of them and then you'll bolt everything down and it should be good to go for as long as the engine's life but hopefully we don't have to fish anything out but this hole right here is the threaded hole this one is the plug so kind of the orientation that you want this little kit is this way so you'll do your washer your bolt and then the plug fits in like that. So this is how you're gonna to wanna to insert it, just like that. It's an Allen head bolt, so keep that in mind. Um, and then we do have thread locker too. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of thread locker on this bolt, and what we're gonna do is just pop this down in there and uh, seal it up. All right, and just like that, our balance shaft delete kit is installed in the engine. It's tightened down and everything is seated where it should be. Um, so yeah, that's an easy little thing to do. Um, I'm glad we got it done and now we can move on to other things. So we're gonna move our way out and put the oil pan back on. So if you guys were curious, here's an up close of the balance shaft um, for the 2.5 engine. Basically, it's just some gears on the bottom that rotate and spin to keep the um, engine smoother and it doesn't fit with what we need it to do, um, so that's why you remove it. So this is what it looks like. I don't know what you're going to do with it otherwise. I'm probably going to have just a bunch of scrap metal to take to the yard or something, recoup a little bit of money. but. Um, yeah, so don't need this anymore. One other thing that I wanna get done while I'm out here is I wanna remove the uh, intake manifold. This one is just the stock plastic intake manifold. I'm gonna zip this off real quick, put some tape over the, um, the ports so nothing gets in there. But just figure while I'm here, it's a quick thing to do. Just take it off, you need to take it off anyway, so let's get doing that.
So the intake manifold is off of the 2.5. Put some tape over the cover just to keep everything out. Um, and there's a couple things. So I feel like I've read about this somewhere and I think you just take it off and leave it off. Um, I'm not sure what these other parts are, like what this goes to. It goes to this little sensor in here, but if you guys have a 2.5 and you've done the swap, please uh, write, it, write it down in the comments below if I need to keep any of this stuff. I don't think I need to keep this, but like things like this, I, I don't know anything about them. So um, let me know in the comments what you guys think of those or send me a link to something. I'd be happy to look it up and, and do some more research. But otherwise, that is gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something or thought this was interesting. I thought it was super cool to take the pan off and kind of look inside the engine because I've never seen inside engines before. So pretty cool to see that in person and do it. So stay tuned for that special driving video that I mentioned earlier on. Um, I'm working on that probably this weekend. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button below if you're new to the channel. Leave your likes, leave your comments, and I will see you next time.